Today we're working on this little corgi glass holder. You can do it as a glasses holder or a stuffy. Take your glasses off and you have the little stuffy and he's weighted so that he sits up. Okay, I placed my stabilizer in my hoop and stitched out the placement line. For the main piece, you want a piece that is about six inches wide and 18 inches long. And we're to start out with, we're going to put it like that and stitch around it. It'll stitch a place, a uh, tack down around it, and then we'll do all the applique. Okay, I've appliqued my parts on for the corgi. And as you'll notice, on this one, I left the nose off because we're going to do the dimensional nose like this one. There is a nose. If you're making a stuffy, you can just skip over it. But to do the bottom, you want to fold this up. And then here's what a template. It's three quarter by about five inches. And you want to fold it down. And it helps to press all this. And then pull your template out. And you can use your template again. And fold up. And then pull this out and you'll stitch it together. Okay, here's the corgi trimmed out. And I use pink and shears and then clip your curves so it turns. And where it turns, leave a little bit of an edge to tuck in and sew. And you want to turn it through this little hole. Okay, for the boxed corners, you want to be sure and push out the points. It's kind of hard on this side because I might have went up too far. So that it will look like that on the bottom. And then you want to stuff it with rice or doll beads or beans. Or if you're just making a stuffy, you can stuff it. But the weight from the doll beads help for it to stand up. And I forgot, you just want to put the rice in the bottom to where it fits up to there. And then the rest you can stuff. I use a funnel, sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. To make your dimensional nose, you take your circle and just run a basting hand stitch around there and then stuff it and pull it tight. Okay. 